once when I was around, I don't know, 14 years old or something, I heard something called Burn of Deep Purple. And that seemed to me like a good mix of, of classical music and, and, and rock music. And I was completely consumed by it. And then I wanted to know how that is being played and stuff, you know. So I, I tried to <clears throat> rehearse the riff and everything that was going on, on, on my guitar. And that was something entirely new for me. I never heard anything like that before. And it was amazing. I don't really remember when was the first time that I listened to classic rock, but I guess it was in my mom's car, um, some pieces of Chicago and Total, if you would say that's classic rock, I don't know. I was sitting on the back seat on the way to kindergarten. There's so. surely some classical things in there sometimes, in yeah. the solos. If you are taking a look at the history of music and you have like a few number one bands that show, I think there's uh, something in common with those bands. They're probably professional or they, they want to bring something across or whatever. They have to exist as a lineup as well, eventually. I think there are no rules for being successful as a band and I think um, we don't know what's coming up next. I, I understand that maybe many people don't want anything to be legendary anymore. And uh, I personally liked it a lot, you know, when there was like a lot of legend and, and magic about some number one act in the past or whatever. I thought that was amazing, magic, outstanding or whatever. And I think nowadays it's more like if you see something that's a hit like Bruno Mars or whatever, you know, you want to see him as like a car in a traffic jam. Then you have like so many cars riding around there and hey, see, that's Bruno Mars. Oh, there's the other car going this and da 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 da. And I'm, I'm a little afraid, you know, that the old magic of, of number one acts or whatever may fade. We don't know if music will be around in that form and maybe it's not in like 10 or 20 or 30 years, maybe it's not important anymore if bands are number one bands. So people are starting to consume music differently than they did 20 years ago or 30 years ago. We have quite a pleasurable longevity of this lineup we are in right now in Halloween. It goes on since, I don't know, 10 years or 11 or more because there's like a strong interest in, in, in social interaction inside this lineup right now but possibly and probably also because of the uh, single experiences that everybody made in other bands before and whatever and there's uh, maybe a strong will, you know, to come to good results and, and have a lot of fun together and whatever. And if there's any problems, you know, to, to sort these if possible. I remember that in the past in Halloween, it, it was usually, you know, put under the carpet where it would stay hidden and eventually a problem would show up bigger than before or whatever. And so we try to get along in a good way. Because basically that's the only thing you can do, otherwise you don't have to try to do a band. That's what it is. And, and if you're friends and, and, and you have the same interests or similar or whatever, that really helps, I think, doesn't it? 